Alright, time to begin, and it's good to be back after a week off. So, Mass Effect Legendary Edition ME3. We're gonna start this one off, and of course, you know, because we gotta do all the imports of characters and everything, I want to start on this screen. So, let's start. And of course the loading does take a bit of time. Ah, there we go. Make sure all the options are good first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, sound. Want to make sure the sound's all good. Yep. If that needs changing, we can do it later. Okay, gameplay. Casual. Yep, all levels on. Subtitles. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're going to import our ME2 character. Ah, good. Now I know which one's which. I mean, I wish I had this in the second one because I couldn't tell the difference between which ones. Probably because I shouldn't have used the same name. So I was a soldier and spacer in the last one. Yep, that one. Yeah, that was the normal save. Let's see what we got on it. We saved the Rachni Queen, rescued Caden, chose to save the Council, saved Malon's data, kept Rex alive on Vermeer, rewrite Gap Heretics, left the Collector Base for service, swipe with all our squad mates, romanced Liara before ME2, and did not romance anyone in ME2. Alright, that's perfect. So that's the one. And here's our Shepherd's imported face. Hmm. Looking good, looking good. Yep, I like that. Okay. Yep, we'll stick with Soldier. Alright, a little skill. So we gotta select one. I think we will go with Carnage. Yes, I accept that. And yes, I know I cannot make any changes, and I am good, so we accept.
How bad is it? Ah, oh, and still beautiful level graphics, aren't they? Two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. Ah, so how's everybody oh, doing? How is your weekend or weeks been going? Because, uh, you know, I was off last week, so anything interesting going on? Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We got to yeah, go. Well, he did the salute us. Wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you now. Oh boy, that means big trouble's coming. Anderson, Admiral, you look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? <laughs> like it's a bad crash. thing. Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Hmm. It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Oh boy, is no that true. Defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. Yeah, and they, they never listened to us until now. Away my ship. You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. Yeah, that was from the Arrival so the DLC Commander. we did. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier. Only way of showing it. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Mm, yeah, being grounded would do that. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. I suppose you're right. Admiral. Yeah, <laughs> bit of a hard ass time. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson, Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything. Oh, it's just what we've told them time and time again. Reapers, Reapers, Reapers. But now they choose to listen. 
Right, just as they're coming up on the front door. It's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. Hmm. <laughs> Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. You got a better one? Moon. They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. That was a reaper, no doubt about it. I think this is stuff from like when the uh, Mass Effect 3 trailer was first released. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Excellent plan. Let's get back to the most badass ship there is. Oh my god. Dang. We do. Report it anyway. Major Alanco, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. You'll have the contact. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Hand us an up. Oh, that's another sci-fi cliche right there. The big panning around the main character. I pretty much know most of this stuff already, but of course we gotta go through it. Come on! We'll have to go this way. Yes, I know we will, I know we will. Look clear, let's go. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. Yeah, no enemy, no Take enemies to shoot just yet, but you just know what they're about to pop up. Like shoot. that. I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move. Luckily, I'm a better shot. Take these things out the old-fashioned way. 
Ah, oh, crap, out of ammo, not good. Don't let him grab you. Whoa. <laughs> One shot them with a little hit like that. Wow. Very much like to find some ammo now. Gotta find a way out of here. Watch it. Ooh, nice Omni tool weapon. Through this way. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. I didn't do this once in the last time I streamed it, so let's do it. Come on, you've got to get out of here. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Man, he moved quick, that kid. I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. They get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. Well, if you had listened in the first place when we first mentioned it, because you would have had some more time. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. True, the we did say that. Has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you're a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. As much as you think it would. <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. <laughs> That's one. putting it mildly. Grab some ammo. Even I can't delight. deny Anderson's done a lot for us. Reload, let's keep moving. Well, we just know there's gonna be more shooting. So, Major Elanco, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA three minutes. And the scale of those guys never fails to surprise me. I'm going to cut scene for him now. Keep your head down. Nice shot. See, you got cryo ammo, incendiary ammo, adrenaline rush, carnage. And this is the finish them all. 
What do you think I'm doing? I want to enjoy being here. sneaky. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Yeah, just so that big guy doesn't come crashing down on us. Seriously, the scale of it. I mean, in the game, it's insane. Look at it. I mean, you have to tilt the camera f fully up just to be able to go scan the whole thing. Ah. So how's everybody's Monday been? Who's been up to what? Has anybody had any fun? Or just been going for some chill lazy time? More experience, always good to have more experience. Enemies! Okay, that's one down. Oh, there it is, it's over there. These huts were a lot simpler to deal with in the first one. Only because they were so much small and simple. Now they're big, meany enemies. There we go. Ooh, new weapon, M8 Avenger. Shepard, over here. I found a radio. I think you mean I found a radio. Normandy, some people got some charm, don't they? Admiral, what's your location? By a down gunship in the harbor. I'm activating its distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major. Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Can only hope. Oh, at least we got a rifle, so we'll be able to really hit things home. See, that's doing damage. Oh boy, heavy fire. I'm under the heavy fire now. Hope they get there soon. You and me both. Yeah, that makes two of us. Are there any powers I can use? There's more of them. I know there's more of them. That's sweet time. I mean, did they just wait till I was completely out of ammo? Huh. Better late than never, though. Let's oh, the Normandy. Now, that is a ship you just love to see. And I swear that sounds like Star Trek music right there. Or at least a version of it. Thanks. 
Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Wonderful. We gotta play diplomat. Now, that's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Ooh, let's hope we can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Oh, and now it's the sombering music. Man, the scenes of this invasion can really hit you, they can. That's, that's yikes. Hey, Alpha, how are you doing? Welcome in. Let me give you a little welcome to the stream hug. How are you doing today? How's your Monday been? Ah, and it's good that it's been good and you're good. Yep, that's right. A little welcome to the stream hug. They're nice to have, aren't they? And you're welcome. I hope you fully enjoyed it. And that is wonderful to hear. Oh, far it's good to enjoy a hug, isn't it? Hey, we're leaving. Leaving? I want to try and give everyone I can a welcome to the stream hug who pops in. To go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit! He wouldn't order us to leave. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot. I swear, Alpha, your emotes are still so cool. I love using them, I do. Yeah, We're just so. You want out? You can catch a ride back from there. Commander. Joker. That you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Petra. Oh, great. What could we possibly need to know now from Hackett? Yeah, we already knew that. They're big ass and dangerous. I mean, we all saw the scale of them. Yes, sir. They are. Uh... Ooh, we're gonna need to see them. We definitely got a uh, place to be. Set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. Going to Mars, are we? 
This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. N7 armor. God, I love that armor. The design of it is just so cool. And you, that N7 is practically a symbol it is. I get a funny feeling this isn't going to go our way. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. Ah, that's why nothing beats enjoying a sci fi game on a Monday. I guess we better move fast. Let's just park all those as reds. Alright, oh, I forgot so many abilities right now. We'll get our points all sorted out now. We're gonna put one in everything just to know we've got everything we need. Oh, yeah, that's definitely gonna come in handy. Um, yeah, we'll give one for overload. Well, a little extra barrier definitely is going to be useful. Let's Reef do again. Oh yeah, let's definitely get a little bit into that. That should hold for now. Definitely want some fortification. Alright, that should do for now. We can up keep upgrading later. Yeah, I'm already at a higher level because I played the uh, first two Mass Effect games and I imported like my save data I did into this one. So it gives me extra points so I can make my characters stronger earlier. Very convenient. Yeah, it is sweet. Definitely a benefit to having the Legendary Edition because, I mean, you could do it in, like, the uh, original games before the remaster, but if you hadn't played the uh, previous two, then you would base it then, like, um, all these little points and bonuses I just got here, I would basically be starting at, like, basic zero, I would, with the standard points you'd get at the start, and I wouldn't have anywhere near these stat levels right now.
Yeah, that was actually a very good I idea because it really gives you incentive to play through the games and import your data. You know, create your own story for Shepard. And the points are definitely a very big, nice bonus. Right, shit's already going down. Oh, the scenery here, it never fails to take my breath away. Of course, the Witcher does a better job at it with its scenery and graphics. They're just gorgeous. They're executing them. They know we're here now. Oh, of course they do. Oh damn, that was only like one bullet. Crap. Enemies using dodge roll, lucky little. I mean, I can if I wanted to. See? Sure looked like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know. I'm not with them anymore, Caden. If that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit it's a bit uh, convenient. Oh, that's appreciated. A little doubt in me right now. that we're going to come across a lot more of them. Look up. Oh. It doesn't help that they stand in place for them. I mean, it makes it easier for me. I feel like he's implying something of that statement. Ah, okay, Alpha. Thanks for coming in, chatting. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of the stream. I hope your games go well. And that you enjoy the rest of your evening or day. Again, thank you very much for coming. Yeah, it was a temporary light. Down the collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I disabled the collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just that You should pay. Have to explain myself to you, Caden. Yeah, I was right. I definitely should have to explain myself to Caden. Please, 
trust me? I do, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Oh, now what's coming our way? Oh, it's Liara! Seems our boo in this game. Oh, in this playthrough. In the first one, it was Tali. shouldn't Liara. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. <clears throat> he said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew that we I had were. To do something. That we were. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... I would have liked that. But under the circumstances... I think I can forgive you. You're too kind. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Sounds like this weapon might be our best yeah, chance it'd be to nice to get some good to news on the situation for a it's chain a instead weapon. of just piling yes. on the bad. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything hmm. powerful yeah, time's them. never on your side in any TV or game series. Convenient. It's always a race against the clock. So it's a race I mean, I think that does help build attention, but still. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shell. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. I hear you. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. When don't the enemies find you? Not a problem for someone with biotics. Like shooting fish in a barrel. You can't hide forever. That all of them? You're going to need more than guns to finish them, Shepard. That's all of them. Oh, good. Let's find a way up. Okay, just like before, get all the powers unlocked.
Singularity will definitely come in handy, so we'll get that up to three as well. Put one in there and that. Yeah, that'll do for now. Hmm. They've sabotaged the elevator. There's gotta be another Wonderful. How'd Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubt Very them. unlikely. I suppose anything's possible. Well, that's not doing it knowingly, then that's a different story. I guess there's only left to go through that door. Shepard, take cover. Make it little. Oh, I certainly enjoy being all sneaky and crafty like that, don't they? Need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. Damn it! Hmm. Security's been tampered with. More stuff to battle with. That's Shepard. See if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but did you see that? Who's that woman in the vent? That's Doctor Ivacore. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Oh, great. Now we gotta deal with all this. What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. That tram heads to the archives. Once Cerberus is across, they're at the final security checkpoint. And that's where we're headed. Commander, did you read me? Barely. Storm's causing interference. Yeah, I don't think he read that. Damn it! That storm's going to be in here very soon. Yeah, I think it's already here. Good point. <laughs> yep, I always make the good points, don't I? This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced open. No, you have to override security protocols. And walk into something that's out of alien isolation. Wonderful. Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. See from shoulder hand to Cameron Harrison. Okay. 
cam, blah blah blah. Yeah, lots of wires. Ooh, I leveled up. How nice. Some glass can be broken, I'm well aware. Oh, that went quite well, I think. Very good to see it, it would. Security station. Come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. Hmm. Yeah, he is pretty much like that. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends, loved ones, what I'd lose if I failed. Me too. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. I believe you. Or I believe that you believe. Maybe that's enough. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Okay, so that's all the way over there. Good, good, good. The only question is what's going to be waiting for us on the other side. Because you know it's not going to be anything quiet or simple. See? You already know there's enemies there from talking. Found them. Get through me that easy. Yeah, they have big shields basically, Guardians do. But they're not indestructible. Oh, 
Juliana. That was them trying to be challenging, they didn't do a good job of it. Oh crap, out of ammo. God, what's that stench? They just activated the A death so powerful, he froze in place. Sometimes scratching the servers is enough to know you're screwed. Never been studied. Ooh, more little goodies. That's the tram line. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Excellent, excellent. We are getting there. Oh, shit. That's an understatement. I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Oh boy. Don't let it target you. Oh sure, that's easy to say. Keep moving. How do you do this properly? Oh, that's how. Let's move. Shit. They can cover. I said he got shot enough times. Well, that way. Okay. Let's 
little mods for the weapons we can use. Looks like they've made it to the archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Ah, which means we're going to have to take the long and destructive way in. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... Whoa. Oh Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? Caden, I'm still me. But I've got a mission, and I'm not gonna force you to come along. I'm with you, Commander. I just wanted you to know why I'm... Come on. Let's see if we can get them to send that tram over. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? So have you got right with Delta? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Well, Echo Team's gonna be in for a big surprise. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position, flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. On it. Right away. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. I'm on it. Here they come. We have contact. Oh, that took out a chunk of the shield. I think we got them. Again, it's never simple, is it? Hey, Ditto, welcome in. Thanks for popping by to say hi. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Oh, crap. Big. Don't want that getting on me.
Yeah, we gotta take them both out. Ah, not too bad, not too bad. Always good to know. How's your day been, if I haven't already asked that? I keep, I can't keep track of the questions I ask sometimes. Alright, how many enemies we got coming after us this time? Oh well, we got them. Okay, you know what? Let's add a little singularity. It's all good, slept in a bunch and just took it easy. Now that's how you spend a Monday. That is definitely how you spend your Mondays. And I pretty much just had to chill Monday. I have not up to much. And I'm enjoying the Mass Effect 3 right now. What about you? Did are you into Mass Effect much yourself or sci-fi games in general? It's not easy sometimes even for that little slit in the shield armor. I'm late to ME for getting into it a lot more. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I only I didn't even hear about uh, Mass Effect until like I saw the uh, Legendary Edition trailer. And I just decided to pick up a copy on a whim I did. And I am really glad I did, because it is awesome. I'm actually hoping to uh, start streaming uh, the uh, one, the game after this one, Mass Effect Andromeda, soon. You know, a good way to kill time while the uh, next Mass Effect game is currently in development. More variety in our weapons, always nice to have. <laughs> What's really nice with like starting with the Legendary Edition is because you already have like the best version of it. You got like the, the DLCs, the improved graphics. And you get it all for one price, but when you think about when it first came out on all gen consoles, you had you were bought the game price of the games individually. And then there was the price of the DLCs. Which probably adds up to a lot more than what I paid for just buying the uh, legendary edition. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the archives for more than 30 years. Kind of my same reasoning when I bought like the game of year game of the year edition of The Witcher 3 Because you know that had like all the patches and improvements on there along with like all the DLCs and the two paid expansions All of that for one price I've seen your solution your people are turned into monsters Partly gotta appreciate that Speaking of which I'll be hopefully streaming uh, Witcher 3 tomorrow if anybody's interested in that I see a way to control, to dominate, and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? Anyone can destroy, but great civilizations do more. You know that. It's why you kept the Collector base intact. I gave you that base to find a way to stop the Reapers. You failed. 
This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. <laughs> Ah, okay Ditto, I know you're late to ME, but if you're not aware of this, I'm going to give you this little bit of help right here. Whenever you get into ME3 and you're doing these talks with the elusive men and you choose like the option that's back here like I did, always choose either the Paragon or Renegade option here. Always choose those when they prompt up. I'm not going to tell you why, but it's going to be a good reason. You brought me back because you knew what I could do. I can defeat them. Doubtful. The odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. With that data, I'll rid the galaxy of those machines once and for all. Your vision is pathetically limited. Not really a comment that embodies over my dead body. But like the rest of the rebels in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. We are. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. Oh, crap. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey, step away from the console. Now. Oh, damn. Yeah, I can see that. Oh damn, getting too far, she's getting too far away. How the... Bionic woman right there. Like this are crazy. Oh, damn it, I missed my target. Watch out. Over there. Oh, great. And we got people shooting everywhere. on top of a there. Need the data. 
Oh, this definitely isn't good. Not good, not good. Well, that was overly dramatic. Grab that thing. Bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Caden. Caden. Oh, that was quite the mission. Wouldn't know if I called it a massive success, but it was certainly something. Citadel Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Love the drama, don't they? Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, They'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. Probably easier said than done. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we War stop usually Reapers. does, especially when you're going up against big reap, reap machines like the Reapers. Get my I words out. Data. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Shepard. Ah, oh, Cass, you little angel. Welcome on in. How are you? 
I'm gonna check I mean, I know you're stu you said you were stuffing your face, but Make it's sure so good to have you here. I'm sure the council Let me give you a down. welcome to the stream hug. Or if they don't. I hope you have had a brilliant Monday, you sweet girl. Ah, it's good you are good, Cass. Always be good. And I am good too. I've been having a nice chill Monday. Just enjoying TV, Netflix. Been doing a little shopping for an external hard drive for my PS4 as well. And that's going good. And thank you for that hug, Cass. That is so sweet of you. Cast love is the best love it is. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial? Best care in the Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? And it's not just because you know I'm getting feel, I'm getting close to, to filling up my hard drive space on my PS4. Right. And t actually, as a matter of fact, I did cast. I found this hard drive designed specifically in partnership with Sony, like who CD. develops the PlayStation Can systems. That this hard drive is God, designed. For the PlayStation system, good to see you again. it is. Yeah, you too. All generations of PS4 will work fine on it, which is excellent. And the best thing of all, two uh, terabytes of storage. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit. I can store like up to, around. depending on the size no of the games, None 50 take. games so on that storage. I can. So I won't have to keep uninstalling and reinstalling games just to shuffle around space. You, shuffle around and have space. I mean, ho ho, it's a war. huge relief. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah 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 blah. Meet them here at Odina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. Winner winner, right. chicken dinner, indeed. To go by the medical center if you want I'm gonna to wait progress. till the new year to get it, cause you know, with Christmas around this, around the corner, deliveries are gonna be just crazy. Thanks, I might do that. You go right now I'm in no urgent rush for extra office. space, which is a big relief. You? I'm just but I definitely today. think it will be on I'll my list to get next trouble. year. Probably a little after New Year's once everything's settled back down. And Cass, if I remember correctly, you are streaming tonight. I'll be right there. What do you have planned to stream? I'll see you around, and anybody who is not following my friend Cass, do give her a follow. She is absolutely brilliant. Let's just look at all that. Right. Okay, good. Now there's someone here we can talk to because a name came up. Oh, look, a lot of credits. Ah, well, I can understand that. I do, Cass, but just for the record, I am perfectly fine with it if you ever do decide to. You will have no objections from me. And yes, I am winning. Thank you for asking. I am crushing my enemies with superior firepower. Because as you can see, i got tons of skills upgraded right here. Looky, looky. I'm a one-man army. It is things we love to hear, isn't it? Is under attack. Ma I can't talk about that. You don't have to. 
Commander Shepard. I guess she's the one who we have to talk to. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was oh, looking for. But tell Plan me, Cass, what have you been doing this work. Monday? Have you been job. earning that bread? I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. You know, whenever I use that term, I like to use the word bacon, because it, I mean, come on, bacon, who doesn't love the word bacon? Of course, I try not to say it too much, because when I say it too much, I end up thinking about bacon and how much I want to eat bacon. I just said it three times now, and now I want to eat bacon. That's for great. I've got a craving for it now. Great, look what I've done to myself. I've done this to myself. I've got a lion security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works. Yeah, out. bacon. I mean, you can't blame me. I mean, bacon Any is just questions? absolutely delicious. It oh, is. One foot locker. Ooh, Christmas shopping. Do you get any nice little prezzies for people? What were they? Family, family Christmas shopping or for friends? Or was it both? Okay. Alright, nothing really to see here. So let's go to a different area. Yep, we'll go here. I tried, but I dislike shopping in person immensely. Oh, Cass, do I feel you? I feel you big time. I understand it so well. I do, dear. I understand it so well. Oh man, isn't the Citadel just beautiful? I mean, look at that site, everybody. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace Absolutely secure. gorgeous. And this is a space station, just for the record. It's not a planet. It's an actual space station. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them. No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Welcome to Serta. <laughs> they got whiskey on here. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Yep, Caden is disease. stubborn and strong. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Oh, good thing that didn't end up happening. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Damn right, we're having her aboard. She's a great doc. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember... Joker is still aboard. 
And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Oh boy, Joker, you're in for it. I can just tell. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where... Oh I yeah, I remember her. She, we met her in like... In the first oh, Mass Effect game. I mean, that was ages ago. It's you so nice to bring back these OG characters. I mean, sure, she's basically an NPC. How is Kate? But it's nice to, you know, they're bringing back those old characters. It really helps create a more organic story, in my opinion. Either way, he hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Oh, take care, doctor. Keep up the good work, doctor. You too, commander. Ah, oh, there's our buddy Caden. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. Hmm. Huh. Let's see, get better we need you or on your feet soldier. Don't die, kid. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again. It reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. Ah, I understand that. Ditto, I really appreciate that, and it's been nice to have you here and talk with you a bit. Always nice to meet another new Mass Effect fan. I hope that your stream also goes well soon, and I will try to pop in even if I can only look. And that's an order. See anything here for us? going on guess we'll go to Citadel embassies next going down a very long hallway We go, Citadel Embassies. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. 
I swear, the way the Citadels have evolved in their designs from the first to the third one, it's really impressed me from the get-go. I mean, the first one was very simple because the Citadel wasn't exactly a major point in the game you had to explore here and there. But it evolved, it grew, there was more stuff to see and do in there. I'm really impressed with it. According to the council, these galaxy wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and. Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field, he checks in every week. He hasn't checked in for a while. Well, that's a very bad sign. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's nice like to have these background conversations going on, it does. It really fills news. things out, in my opinion. Let you know as soon as I get news. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter. See, not really mission related, but it's nice to have the story going on. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I, I imagine he doesn't. I babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a <laughs> One thing you teacher. probably would have to appreciate. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. Yeah, I got my specialty to say no to that man. Oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> If that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. One second, people. I'm just doing a little something. Okay, what's what in this area? I'm completely confused.
to secure information, access and support for opposition, covert operations or requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with the Spectre Task Force. Any operation requiring payments can be executed at a terminal nearby which supports secure... Okay. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. Yes, I because am only, here. The council is already in session. Oh, that's wonderful. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must oh, fight brilliant. this together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. Very colossal. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component here. Something referred to only as the catalyst. And they didn't have a chance to use it they before they got wiped out by the Reapers. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And Udina's right. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. Oh, that is cold. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. Do I have I hope to? That's I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Well, tell us how you really feel. Will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. 
A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what, what you else need, is new? what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. Yeah, I kind of already know that. And various resources will be made available to you. Yeah, pricey resources. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. <laughs> The council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. Hopefully I that's a lot of can, chips. Put materials I can and spread the message. Help the humans help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. I should Oof. go. I'll be here. Yeah, that's a too much talking for Udina with Udina for me to bear. Oh boy, I can't imagine how this is going to go. Commander Shepard, Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. You may be a violent thug, but I'm glad you're on our side. Violent thug might be a bit overkill. According to the council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? <laughs> I've been elite. in the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Yeah, they definitely need a wake up call under this situation. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but. But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. 
Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. Yeah, for it. definitely am. Whatever it takes. Definitely am. Definitely am. It. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. The council called the invaders Reapers, the same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. Okay. All right, to the docking bay we go. I think it's time to leave the citadel. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. Oh, do you mind? Yes, return to the Normandy. And now we've got a weird little thing going on here. With slow motion running in. Wasn't a hundred percent sure which direction I'm going. I'm guessing it wasn't that way. Yeah, but you can run a little faster. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Big yes. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? The Reapers are here, now. And the Council, the other races, 
are only interested in looking after themselves. How many civilians are dying while they wait for us to make the first move? At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. They'll come around. They've got to. Yeah, they got on, to, don't me. they? I'm specialist. Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. Ooh, very nice. Fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Because she's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Oh, boy. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Pretty much stuff we already know, but they got to do it for any newbies who are playing. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara mm -hmm, set up a mm -hmm. little hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Good to know. Good to know. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. Probably won't be much, but you know I'm going to try. Mainly because it's part of the game, so I have to try. Us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Appreciate it, Hack it. Here's our war terminal. Let's see weapons. Okay. Okay, 
so we have the CIC, all cabin. A lot of stuff to say. It sure is a bigger, more wider Normandy now. Roger Dodger. Lots of news articles, stuff like that. Eden Prime. We'll have to do that sooner or later. But first I want to head up to the captain's cabin and make a few clothing changes. First our casual armor. Or casual outfit. Can't beat that. That's shield. Melee damage. Ah, much better. Much better. I like this outfit the most. to check on your new recruit just wanted to see how you were doing still trying to get my bearings when i was working on the normandy's upgrades i left at the end of the day i didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until i made some emergency purchases on the citadel next time you need something just ask we're all in this together oh it, maybe a renegade but he's always got his crew's back that's the I'm shepherd sure i like concerns. we can put in a requisition order my toothbrush is a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. <laughs> Just his response to that. I you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy. But imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Clearly. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. How'd you end up in the military, anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation, and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm sure you will, sure you will. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Good to know. Thank you for the help. Hey, Commander. 
You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared sure, if now? they denied it so much, they definitely... Maybe they were if they hadn't denied it so much, they would be more prepared now. You know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. I never did that once. Commander. Okay, the pathway there is gone, so I guess it's the elevator to the next area. Ah, oh, look at this, the wall of fallen heroes. I think this is mainly like the original Normandy crew from like the first game. You can see like third down from the left on this side is Ashley Williams because in the first game we had to make a choice between leaving her or Caden Elenko behind on a planet that uh, exploded effectively killing them. Model hidden on the ship, isn't that nice? Some haha, <laughs> they got a card table in here, that's cool. Wish that was a mini game, like we could do that with our crew just for a bit of fun. I mean, that would be nice, that would, that would really be nice. Well, the R is settled in nicely. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. Oh, that's convenient. What should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. It was less than ideal. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that there is. There we go. The nice ammo capacity bonus. That's going to be quite useful for us. I'm flattered. I think. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Well, Until we way. understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even Maybe because you probably don't know what the damage would be if, when it ha if, if or when it happened. Are hurt. I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? Hell yeah. I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. 
There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later. There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Hmm, lots of interesting stuff. Like it's a bit of history on Liara and what she's been doing. Hello again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations bear the blinding habits. light behind it. That probably needs to be adjusted a little. When our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Please enjoy your day. So we try our best under this situation. Okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Fair point. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. It's I'm enough. just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay, and your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It a better. Sure didn't come cheap. <laughs> no, it That's didn't. It. I mean, the credit spent for it was yeah, in the, the billions, if I remember. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. I'll see you around. Yep, later. that we do. Take care, Shepard. Okay, no interacting with her. All right, let's see what engineering has. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. Yeah, that they do. That, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Well, can't blame also, him for that, I'm definitely. The Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. What do you think of Edie? 
We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a BI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. <laughs> yeah, I guess an engineer would see that pretty quickly. Fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus oh, that would upset the old ship if it wasn't completely totaled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gets oh, that's not good. Keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means... We yeah, have a look what that means evil. FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Carry Good on, to know. Aye, aye, sir. Not that way. Ah, shuttle bay. This is the new edition that came with Mass Effect 3. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like hmm. that. Very mission-oriented, his mind is. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty crazy. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Oh, just let him to talk to now. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Sums it up perfectly. I wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavin. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> You down here for a reason? <sighs> Just came down to talk. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service. Right? Probably his recklessness and when he did that shuttle pilot crash. I don't actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well, think you can dance and talk at the same time? Bring it. I think I can handle it. 
Okay, loco. Let's dance. <laughs> loco. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom and rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> what do you mean was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them <clears throat> or the intel we had on the collectors. <clears throat> intel we could have used to destroy them. <clears throat> I chose the intel. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. <laughs> you didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You shrink too? Not really. Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. That was a pretty nice little bout between them, wasn't it? Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Give him a pretty good punch there, we did. Hey again. What's up? I'll talk to you later. You bet. Well, I think that's a good place to call it tonight. Ah, definitely been, you know, one of my more quiet streams, but that's okay to have every now and again. But like the end of every stream, of course, it ends with a winter raid. So. Stand by for it, because I really gotta find someone to raid much sooner. Ah, definitely nice to be back streaming after a week off, and it's very nice to be back streaming. Yeah. Oops. Type that wrong a little. Okay, this is where we're going. Uh, hopefully, be back tomorrow. Thinking about being back tomorrow with some Witcher Three. Because I watched the second season on Netflix and just loved it. So, everyone enjoy your day slash evening. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.